Ladies and gentlemen, it's here, it's out, Shin Megami Tensei 5, and boy, it's a great time to be alive to play this game. It's me, Majority, and as you know, it's no secret, I have been dabbling in the SMT series for quite some time. I've played 3, 4, 4 Apocalypse, and now I'm playing through 5. At the time of recording, I have 11 hours and 38 minutes logged. And I will be showing you gameplay footage of the first eight hours uh, where I was at this time. I wanted to log my experiences with the game, tell you a little bit about how I'm feeling generally, specifics, and what to look forward to going from here. One thing I can assure you is that if you do like SMT, you should make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to definitely talk about this when I finish it. And then also check out all the other channels in the description box below. They're all great. But what about this game? It's great. It's really good. It's exactly what I wanted from an SMT game. One thing that's kind of a staple for this series for me is that once you start, it is very hard to put down. And I have found the same for SMT. I play for hours at a time. I stay up late at nights when I know I shouldn't. And I just get so sucked into the worlds, the demons, the fusions, and everything in between. It is a grand experience, and it's so great to see it reach this potential in this full 3D form on the modern consoles. Without giving too much away about the plot, SMT takes place in sort of a Neo Tokyo. And you kind of go back and forth between this apocalyptic uh, netherworld setting and the original city. You start as kind of a schoolboy. It's very interesting. You start as you're a, you're a boy because I don't, I don't really get that vibe from the main character, especially with like the long hair transformation. But even the main character, the avatar that you see right now is called the Nahobino. It is your custom character that you create in the beginning combined with this sort of angel AI called Algami. And they merge together in order to fight and recruit and summon demons in this uh, netherworld where Tokyo is overrun. I really like how beautiful this game is. I have to talk about the art textures. This is actually using some of the Persona 5 artwork assets as far as I can tell. But what's different is that it operates in a full 3D environment. And that's really a sight to see. It's beautiful. Because in Persona 5 uh, in, and 4 even, if I remember correctly, uh, the amount of actual 3D exploration was quite limited. You know, you could still walk around like the subway uh, setting and um, you could, you know, travel uh, in the, the subterranean areas. But I don't remember it being this advanced. You know, it, this game has been in development for like five years, so it's kind of a great thing to see that it's actually functioning as well as it can. Now, it's not perfect. When you explore on the overworld, you actually see the demons. And sometimes you see them kind of glitch out a little bit. It's fine. I'm not that picky. I don't know if it's because it's like on the Switch or what, but uh, it's... <laughs> It's uh, noticeable, let's just say. So there, there are some frame rate, I don't want to say issues, but noticeable drops, I guess. But they're not insufferable. They actually are fine. It doesn't break the game by any means. There are some other changes I want to talk about. Uh, so even just seeing enemies on the overworld, you know, you were able to see these kind of like uh, holograms in SMT4 on 3DS. Um, this is different because you actually see what demon you're going into battle with and uh, This is cool because they like make noises and stuff and like this one like Ipon Datara, he'll go like <laughs> and it's, it's actually terrifying, you know, and these guys, you know, they they pack a punch Or a hammer I should say they are no small demon There are a couple gameplay changes that I like uh, light and dark moves now do damage as opposed to only being insta-kill attacks that work like half the time. And they still can insta-kill, but only when on a weakness. So if my main character is weak to dark and I get hit with a dark attack, there is a chance that I will be insta-killed in addition to taking damage. And vice versa. If I was to attack Suchigumo over here with a light attack, let's say he, if he was weak to like, 
I could insta-kill. Uh, physical special attacks. If I was like a physical attacker, I'm not. I'm a magic attacker. They uh, consume magic power now. MP, not health points. So that's kind of a nice change because... Uh, well, I mean, there were ways to finesse it. So, like, you would have healers on your team and, you know, the main guy wouldn't use, like, you know, mana for uh, physical attacks. So, you could actually save it for other stuff. But, uh, you know, in general, I like it. I think it's fine. And I think it accommodates, um, you know, most people's needs, too. And uh, sometimes that puts you at a disadvantage. It puts you at a risk. Uh, I like luring the creatures out if they're blocking my way. So, that's what you're seeing done now. I'm actually finding a nice sub-quest. I feel that sub-quests are done particularly well in SMT5. I kind of remember some of them from like 4 and 4 Apocalypse, but not very much. I don't remember them in 3 at all. I don't remember single one. But they seem to have not narrative significance. I don't know if they determine like your path or anything. But uh, they do... How should I say? They do bring life to the demons and uh, characters in new ways that you might not expect. Here you see a bunch of demons that are actually like in fear. Uh, or not in fear, but they're just kind of avoiding this one guy in the dungeon. He's, he's an Oni. He's an Oni demon. And uh, he's like, I just want to help people. And so he, he sent me out to go find people to help. I just told him nobody wanted his help. And now he's trying to take it back. On them. <laughs> he's pissed. And what does that mean? Well, you'll see. No! Ah. Ah. Don't get on an ogre's bad side. And uh, yeah, this one is no exception. Uh, but I'm ready for this fight. Uh, a couple other things I like. So, you know, they got the Magatsuhi uh, gauge in the top right. That's different. And what that allows you to do is to use specials to uh, that don't cost any MP. So one thing it might allow me to do is if I use it was to get all crits on this guy. And that would be useful. Um, so and that replenishes based on certain things that you do, even based on certain uh, skills that you unlock. But I'm not going to talk to you in detail about that. I think everything, the core experience that you want is still here. You know, uh, the press turn combat is still functioning as well as ever. Uh, you still have the classic, like, strength weakness system with the drains and the, the repels uh, working against different types. And uh, you've, you've got some great fights that happen, too. Some really good bosses. Some really tough bosses. In fact, the one that comes up after this is just insufferable. It's really tough. But uh, it is doable, I should say. That's my log of my first 11 hours and 38 minutes of Shin Megami Tensei 5. Very excited to have uh, done it, to have embarked on this journey. And I will be sure to keep you posted where it goes from here. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon.